Welcome back to another episode of Zach and Ash, but Zach is not here. So today we are going to Publix and I don't know how much they're going to let me film in there, but we are going to do a grocery haul. I'm going to go to Costco, get a couple of things, go to Publix is where I, I get the majority of things. So we're going to do those two things. So sit back, relax, and let's do a grocery haul. This is the good life So, Publix did not let me film in there. Well, they did not not let me. It's just, it's whatever. I'm going to try to film as much as I can in Costco. This Costco is always so packed. You're always like shoulder to shoulder with people. I don't know how much I'm going to film, but I am going to come back to the house and show you guys what all I got at Costco and at Publix. So, if I don't get any film in between those, it's because people were staring at me and looking at me weird and I don't like that. So, yeah. All right, you guys, I am back home. I didn't really film anything going in the store. Publix, their employees were just staring at me and I was like one of the only ones in the store because I went as soon as they opened. So it was really awkward and really weird and I just, I didn't want to get kicked out because I actually need groceries. And then I went to Costco, but it was so packed. I just didn't even pull out the camera. I'm sorry. But I'll show you everything I got here in just a second. I did want to, hang on, let me turn around the camera. I wanted to show you guys a little hack. So, I have a candle warmer, and then I got these from Costco. The downy, whatever these are, the little beads that you usually throw in laundry. But, if you pour these in the candle warmer, oh my gosh, your house will literally smell like laundry for days. That's a little hack. Most of y'all, or some of y'all might have known about it, but this is what I do. And it smells really good. So, that's my life hack of the day. Candle warmer these downy beads and your house is gonna smell like laundry all the time which i love all right this is what i got from publix and i'll kind of go through tell you guys what i am going to use it for or just kind of show you guys what i got we got some blueberries because why not and also i like to put these in my smoothies in the morning with a tablespoon of almond butter and then you put some spinach in it about a cup of spinach and then you can either put coconut water regular water or some almond milk anything like that in this smoothie and it is so good and you could substitute blueberries with strawberries or whatever I just like the blueberry almond butter spinach and then I add coconut water those just spill everywhere Y'all! See, this is what I get for doing a grocery haul. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh my gosh. Anyway, like I was saying before I got really interrupted by blueberries, I use this for my smoothie. You can substitute strawberry, whatever. I got some bacon. I'm gonna make some bacon wrapped asparagus to go along with some chicken probably tomorrow. And it was on sale. And then these are my absolute favorite things to make. If I want just like a personal pizza, instead of getting one that's frozen, I just kind of make it myself. I get these, it's the Mama Mary's, and I just put some marinara on it, and then with some cheese or pepperoni or ham on it, that's why I got this ham. Also, I'm gonna make a breakfast bake with this. These are so convenient. You just pop them in the oven for like seven minutes and they're done, and they're not frozen, and you kind of feel accomplished because you it's kind of considered homemade. I don't know. But anyways, they're really, really, really good. And I like them. Next. Best duo ever. This is their buffalo chicken dip. And it is so, so good. If you guys don't want to homemade the chicken dip, get this stuff. Try it. They also have one. It's still chicken breast dip. But it instead of buffalo style, it's 
taco flavored and it is so good too but this is my absolute favorite one then you got to pair it with the thin and crispy chips because best snack ever need i say more this is zach's favorite oatmeal ever he loves this stuff i usually get it at costco but hopefully we'll be moving out of our house soon i didn't want to get a huge like 100 pack of oatmeal if um we're gonna be moving so i just got a small pack but that was his favorite it's the um cream one the fruit and cream okay all of my bakers out there if y'all saw in the last video and if not i'll link it below but if you saw my last cooking with ashley video you know that i said i only bake if it comes out of a box and i really was not lying this stuff comes from publix and it's by the bananas and it has changed my life on banana bread because it is so easy. Literally, you just need, it says just add two bananas, water, and an egg. And literally, that's it. it this has already got the mix, the spices, everything. In this box, you dump it, add the bananas, egg, and water, mix it up, and it is so good. It is the best. I'm all about making life simpler. So trust when I say this stuff is pretty much better than homemade. This stuff, I'm sure y'all already know, is amazing. I will eat this with anything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. I don't care. I'll eat it with anything and everything. It is so good. I love red lobster biscuits. I've never seen these before. These are the townhouse flatbread Italian and herb crisps. I think is what they're called. Yeah. I'm going to try this with spinach dip and see how that tastes. They looked really good and they were on sale. So... I got these and I'm gonna try to make some spinach dip and go with them. I don't know, I'll, I'll let you guys know how these turn out as well. This is one of my favorite snacks. If I'm ever craving something right before bed or even something sweet because these are kind of sweet, I usually go for these, these are my favorite. This is Zach's absolute favorite barbecue sauce. It's the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Chipotle. It is really good. He eats it with nuggets, with fries, with anything and everything he can put on it. So, we always have to have this in stock and we were getting low. So, I knew if I didn't get more, it was going to be a, a bad day in the Hopkins household. Okay, next it's the organic caramel dip. I've never tried this before, but I got some apples sitting over there. Um, and we're gonna try it because Zach and I have sweet tooth. Something about as soon as we eat dinner, we crave something sweet. I don't know, it's weird. Maybe everybody else is like that. Comment down below if y'all are like that. I don't know. But I always crave something sweet right after dinner, no other meal. So we're gonna try this instead of ice cream or chocolate or whatever. We're just gonna try this. I'll let you guys know how this is too. But it looks really good and I'm excited to try this. You guys. When I say these are the best burritos I've ever had in my entire life, I'm not lying. These are, they're by Reds, and it's organic cheese quesadilla burrito. Y'all, if you like cheese, if you're a cheese lover like me, get these. They're in the frozen section at Publix. I take them for lunch all the time for work. They're not that expensive either. I think they're like three for five dollars, but they are really, really good. Cheese quesadilla by Reds and they're organic, so plus. I never tried um, the spicy chicken nuggets by Tyson. Hopefully they taste just like Wendy's because we're trying not to eat as much fast food I'm trying not to deprive ourselves so much to where we like just go crazy and completely quit our diet, which is usually what we do. So I'm gonna try these, the Tyson Spicy Chicken Nuggets. Okay, this stuff is our go-to for dinner. It's the Garlic Shrimp by Bird's Eye. It is really, really good, and they were buy one, get one free, so I stocked up on them. But this is really easy to make. You literally just put it in a pan, Cook it for about 10 minutes and it's done and it is so good and we usually add some Cajun spice to it as well because we like everything spicy so that in it too it's really good. Y'all are going to start seeing some stuff disappear because this is frozen and as soon as I show it I'm going to take it back to the freezer. Also these were on sale as well. The all Almost everything Birdseye was. 
These are so easy, like if I'm cooking um, chicken or salmon or any sort of meat, these are so easy to just pop in the microwave and you have an easy side. We've gotten these before and they are really good. We're gonna have them probably with the spicy chicken nuggets. They're the Alexia sweet potato fries. These are also in sale, so, but I've had these before. They're really, really good. So we'll eat these with the spicy chicken nuggets. All right, I just heard the oven beep. I'm actually gonna make me some lunch, y'all. Go to for pizza. Actually, I'm gonna cook this for lunch for me and then what I don't eat, Zach will eat for dinner. And I'll just munch on some snacks for dinner. But this is so good. If y'all like spinach and I can't have red sauce, well, I'm not supposed to have red sauce. So this is, it's a white sauce pizza and it's cheesy and it's got some spinach in there and it is so, very good. Next, I got about 10 of these, but I only wanted to get one out because I'd already packed, literally packed my freezer full of these things. So it's the Healthy Choice Cafe Steamers. They are so good. I take these to lunch at work as well. And Zach eats them for a midnight snack. He has to eat a lot, Zach does. So he's a growing boy. So he likes to have these um, for a snack. <laughs> That sounds so weird, but anyways, it's 290 calories for this bowl, and it's a pretty good sized bowl. Like I said, I take it for lunch, so they're really, really good. If y'all haven't tried the Healthy Choice, the steamable bowls, y'all need to try them. Next, I got the Tri-Color Coleslaw. If you guys haven't tried this, you need to. Put this in a pan and put a lid over it and let it steam for about five minutes. Then put a little bit of teriyaki sauce, garlic powder, and Cajun seasoning on it, just a little bit. It is so good. And then what I usually do is I grill some chicken and put on top of that. And it's almost like a lo mein type of deal. I don't know, but it is so good. I'll probably cook that next week. And if I do, I'm gonna film it or I'll at least take a picture of it and show you guys because it is really good and Zach loves it too. We got a big old bag of spinach because Zach and I make smoothies every morning for breakfast. If you guys want to get your greens in for the day and don't like just raw spinach or even cooked spinach, sneak it in the smoothie and you will you do not taste the, the spinach in it at all. And last but not least, we got some bread so I can make my grilled cheeses. All right, so that was it for my Publix haul. I'm gonna get the Costco stuff together and show you guys in the meantime, we're gonna cook this pizza because I'm starving. And I'll show you guys how this turns out because it looks and smells amazing whenever it comes out of the oven. So we'll do that and then we'll be right back. This is what I got from Costco. We've already gotten into the cereal because yesterday, once I got done shopping, I just did not feel good. I've been not sleeping good lately because of this trying to sell the house. It's been emotionally and physically exhausting. So yesterday, once I got back from the store, I just didn't even film anymore and I was done. So we had cereal for supper last night. I'm gonna try this. I'm excited to try it. I've never tried it before. It's beef sirloin is $20 at Costco. I'm probably gonna cook some jasmine rice with it and maybe one of those heatable bird's eye, the frozen veggies is probably what I'll make with it. Also, if you have never had jasmine rice, it will change your life. Also, rice cooker will change your life. The easiest thing to do is I get my rice cooker out Put a cup of rice in it, cup of water, a little bit of butter and salt and pepper and you let it cook for about 20 minutes in the rice cooker. It does everything for you and it always comes out perfect. So if you don't have a rice cooker, that's what I suggest. Also suggest getting jasmine rice because it's really, really good and it'll go perfect with this. Next we got their provolone cheese. Zach goes through provolone cheese like nobody's business. He loves this stuff. 
So, I always have to get this every time I go to Costco because we go through so much of it. And it's a double pack. I've never tried these and they looked really, really good. So, I got these last time and Zach loves making them. Zach has eaten them with, he makes like a burrito out of it. I don't know exactly what he does with it, but he says they're really good. And then y'all saw the cereal, so it has Apple Jacks. What is that? Oh, Cocoa Krispies and Fruit Loops. I just wanted to buy a variety, have a variety on hand, so every time I go to the store, I don't have to get cereal. So I got these. We got bananas. And then my absolute favorite fabric sheets ever. They just smell so good. It's the Kirkland brand, so it's their brand. Next, we got the Downy fabric softener, a huge thing of it. And this is my favorite softener. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite detergent ever is this stuff. It's the Arm & Hammer OxyClean and it is the fresh scent and boy does it smell good. Last but not least, Zach's favorite thing in the whole world, chicken wings. So what I do if you have an air fryer, 15 minutes on one side, 15 minutes on the other. So a total of 30 minutes and then we like to toss them in teriyaki sauce or buffalo sauce. But these are nice because Zach goes through these like crazy and he loves these for dinner or lunch. It's gonna save you money in the future and it's super easy, especially if you have an air fryer, just stick them in there and they're done. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. I love doing grocery hauls, so let me know if y'all want me to do like a massive one. This one was just kind of stuff that we needed, so it wasn't even planning out dinners or anything. It was just kind of picking up stuff here and there. So let me know if y'all want to see more of that. Comment down below. And other than that, it's been Ashley. Zach will be here with us next video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Peace out.